the Rumble, champions from the year previous. Uh, you're gathering, you're preparing, you're, you're getting ready for the, the Champions Cup yet to come. A battle like this has not been done for the Rumble in probably centuries. You know, much in the way of like Doctor Who, the, the, the champion, you know, the, the Rumble, the Roguelike Rumbles were, were a legendary tournament going for eons and eons and eons. But as far as we're concerned, as far as our reckoning matters, they really started, you know, casually last June. Um, so, uh, the four of you are, are four of the champions, um, who have, who were accumulated over this past year, uh, and you've been recalled to participate in a Champions Cup tournament, where you will face not, not just other heroes, not just other adventures, uh, to be, you will face fellow champions, folks who have also won a rumble, who have faced the same things you have faced, and I'd like to know how you've been preparing. So we've got to start with number one, Gaia's own right hand, Theodora. Yeah. Um, I've been like, okay, I guess. Um, I haven't, you know, done like a lot of battling since. Um, I've just been like concentrating on myself and my own personal inner journey. Um, I've been like really tending to my garden and by attending to my garden, I've been tending to my soul. So yeah, um, I'm ready to get back in the ring. Really, really watering your plants as it were. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No euphemisms. Uh, so, so not a lot of training. More of a spiritual journey. Are you? Do you feel then yeah. you are growing in your um, divine prowess? I definitely do. I think me and Mother Nature are like closer BFFs than we've like ever been. So, and if you are to win, or rather, I would say, why? Why are you so determined to win this time round again? Um, I think that by being like the only like, you know, lady, it seems as of right now to be in the championship, I think I am winning this for all women everywhere. You know, a feminist at your core. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't believe I wouldn't be surprised if my wife voted for you instead of for me. So that's that's uh, that's entirely fair. I know she's an amazing yeah. woman. She's an amazing woman. Bug. Papillon, anything you want to compliment her on? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like maybe you should have established. We we seem to be on a ye old magical Zoom call. <laughs> All the champions. Uh, yes. Um, the the scrying Zoom, if you will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One, one of these days, we when it's we see actual really cool Zoom, I'll technology. come up. With <laughs> Yeah, I'll come up with cool uh, Unlike anything I've seen in my little podunk town, for sure. Uh, so then let us turn our attention to uh, the second champion of the roguelike rumbles, Bug, Prince of the I-10 Hells. Hey, hey, how's it going? Um, Bug's an absolute mess right now. Like, he's conflicted, because I mean, he obviously he's took a step away. In third person, it's wild. Yeah, Bug is conflicted and he speaks in third person now. That's how not himself he feels, <laughs> you know? Um, he, I mean, I, I, he, I don't even know. I'm just gonna use he from now on. Um, I'll use I. I, um, obviously had to take a step away from the Rebels, you know? I won and then I didn't return because I, um, I didn't like what it was doing to me, you know? Um, Obviously, I have this sword uh, that my father was trapped in. My, some of my brothers and sisters are still trapped in it. And it's like, they keep on like wanting me to fight and like go bloodlust or whatever. Um, and I said, I said, no, I said, no, I, which I was really proud of. Um, but then I heard Theodora was going to be in this one. And um, maybe that might have had something to do with why I'm now back. Uh, because it, I'm doing this one for me. I'm doing this one for me, right? Because the first one I was doing for my father to get him out of the sword that he was stuck in. And the second one I was doing for, uh, for no one in particular, for uh, not to prove anything to anyone that I just broke up with or anything like that. Uh, mm -hmm. But this one I'm doing for me. Ab yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, it's quite interesting. Your first, your first was rather a spectacular finish. Got the game, got the girl, came back for round two. 
not not so triumphant, but you did win. And I, I feel like you were um, surprisingly magnanimous in giving your prize money to uh, your fellow competitor. That's right. I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> well, it's because I already had so much for the first time. You know, what am I going to use it for? I, I have what I need. I have the clothes on my back and the sword in my hand and the shield in my other hand. So. And, you, and you stopped the building of a mini mart over, you know, really rich archaeological ground. It was only right. I mean, I saw that guy get eaten by a velociraptor multiple times that fight, and I felt very bad for him. He, he was becoming, never mind. Uh, that's, that's fine. You don't need to know how druidcraft works. Uh, <laughs> so how, how have you been training? Um, I've been eating a lot of chips. Um, I, again, it's, it's kind of like, uh, I expect to win just because I have before and I feel like it's just gonna happen again. Is that crazy? I mean, I don't know. That's already won twice. So, and that's what yeah. I'm saying, right? So, your lightning so. striking three times is pretty rare. I'll just say that. Not impossible, though. So, well, third time, still gonna get beaten by your ex girl. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's actually the part that makes me the most scared. <laughs> you you worried that what she's gonna win this time? Well, yeah, because the first time we we were the rogue like rebel together, we uh, she never actually attacked me, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I saw her attack a lot of other people, mm -hmm. and uh, it was pretty brutal. So I'm actually really worried about that. Mm. So no alliances go around. Let's see. I'm, op I'm open to it. <laughs> but... Bet you are. A papillon, anything? <laughs> it's not only her you should be scared of prince oh no you're crazy <laughs> i don't know this guy who the hell is well, this I guy uh, uh, well that turns us to our third champion who won the hottest battle yet if i do say so myself and did you horus hello hello everybody how's it been going Oh, things have been great. I went home to my town and everyone was really excited for me to have won the, the roguelike rumble. Um, uh, the, we had a big celebration, giant feast. We all wrestled in the middle of the square. It was incredible. Um, my my wife and I, uh, we got married in, in the in-between. It's very exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, my, uh, I, so I, I the, f turns out, I didn't explain this before, but the, the nose ring said that I, I was, uh, engaged to be married and now it stays there because I'm I'm fully tethered out. So oh. and uh it's yes, in there? That, Where is it? No, it's still it, it's there. It's just not there right now. Oh, I took it out gotcha, gotcha. It's like... a little bit distracting. It, it, it interferes with the uh, the scrying zoom. So so I wanted to make sure that it uh yeah. we didn't have any take your gold rings out for the scry. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh and and have you been training in the interim? Well, uh, I've I've spent every moment since uh, training in some way, or, uh, shape, or form. I've been doing a lot of strength training. I've been doing, uh, like I said, wrestling with the other minotaurs of my village. Um, we have been uh, really throwing it down, and and they've been coming at me hard because they know that I'm now a champion. So uh, they, uh, it, it's it's been uh, it, to say homoerotic is uh, is uh, is light is is to say that so i was gonna suggest uh, a good 80s montage but that sounds more exciting <laughs> wow but uh yeah no i've also been playing shirtless paying volleyball attention. on the beach <laughs> <laughs> you got a flavor for shirtless fighting and then you just gotta have more that's right that's right and then um yeah no i've been uh paying attention to all the other rumbles and and uh kind of what, going back and, and watching the, the wonderful magical recordings that you've had on the other ones to just kind of get an understanding of my competitors a little bit better. And who are you most scared of? Oh, well, having seen him before, Papillon for sure. That man, that man is impossible to tell where he's going to go. And uh, I'm excited. Let me just say, I'm, I'm both both terrified and excited to fight, uh, fight Papillon one more, one more time. Excellent. Well, well, anything else you'd like to uh, share? Just that uh, I'm ready to have a good time. Uh, that's that's all this is about for me. I've already made it to my championship round, and I'm just here to have fun. So let's let's see what we got. Excellent. Yeah. Competitors, anything? 
Um, I like, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I just wanted to say that like you really match the season, if you know what I mean. I, I don't. <laughs> um, it's, it's a little like bit beyond your like thing, like your like thing right now is like really in ah, like, your right. your whole thing. All right, I appreciate that. Bug, mm -hmm. bug. She knows he's married. It's okay. Calm down. I'm just right, saying but... his thing is in. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Mentors, uh, you know, relationships, marriages, uh, you know. Uh, it's, it's a very free love kind of uh don't say that hey don't you say that all right please just for me please don't <laughs> no i'm sorry i'm sorry no my, my my wife will be there we'll make sure that uh that i behave habits are open season <laughs> well i'm coming for you puppy <laughs> and everyone else is too so turning Amen. to our final competitor <laughs> on that note Fabian, how's it been I mean, it hasn't been that long hasn't. since my last time there. You know, got back into the good graces with King Mikey. Got a little job back over in Dismay. Mm. But, you know, still looking for that final one that decided to do this to me. But, you know, maybe we'll, maybe he'll catch wind of this and we'll have an easier target. But until then, we'll just see where the cards lie. <laughs> well, uh, you said you're working for King Mickey. Doing what? I'm sorry, I'm afraid that's confidential. Uh, <laughs> and wouldn't, wouldn't happen to impact any other competitors in the room, would it? I mean, some other people might need to look out, particularly one, the prince might need to keep an eye on his back. <laughs> is, this, uh, is this allowed? Are we, are we just going to allow this kind of talk right now? Hey, alliances and rivalries are all welcome at the Rumble. That's right. That's right. Interesting. Indeed. Indeed. Now, of course, I, I do mean, don't have get... to ask. Although, let, let me be clear. I will not stand for picking on anyone. We all fight no. or we all go home. No. Oh, of course not. Horace, you and I do have some unfinished scores. To see. <laughs> I, oh, Since we our fight was part. interrupted. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know. Here's the thing, just I knew you were going to be. I knew, I knew that you were going to be a champion. I knew it. It was just the fact that you were up against me that made it a bit of a problem. Which so, might uh, need to be rectified. <laughs> All right. Well. I'll be excited to see which one you go for first, but I do have to ask, uh, have you seen any tailors or custom wardrobe folks recently been working on any tearaway bits? Uh, tearaway bits? No, I wouldn't say tearaway. Mm -hmm. um, however, my, my coat has seen some wear and tear over the battles. So uh, I believe that one is going to have to be replaced, and especially the uh, the tattered shirt that just that needed to go. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that had nothing to do with your competitors stripping it off you. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? How have you been training, other than your work? <laughs> I mean, there's only so much training you can do before luck and. Destiny take over. That was cute. <laughs> that was good. I'll, I'll give him that one. Yeah, you know, try to kill me, whatever. I like that one. I like that one. Well, competitors, uh, you have a little less than a week, and then you will be reassembled at the Roguelike Rumbles. Any messages you'd like to send out to your supporters? We'll go in uh, reverse order. So, with Papillon. <laughs> Luffy Bunny fans, just remember, tip high enough. Oh, now that's a cheap shot, Papillon. Come on. I think we're aiming for it to be a rich shot. Hey, you all get to reap in the rewards too. Horace. <laughs> 
Oh, Horace's fans already know. They they know he's he's been he's been rumbling in his hometown forever, and they are huge fans already. I don't need to tell them anything. Come drink, have a good time, vote for whoever you want. I'm still gonna win. Good enough, Bug. Yeah, so Bug um, definitely has fans still. Is like is like has so many friends and fans. It's crazy. Uh, hasn't seen them in a while. Uh, they don't really seem to be reaching out to it, but that's fine. I get it. People like their privacy. So wherever you are, um, go about out and uh, see your favorite guy. Uh, do what he does, you know? Good enough. Last, certainly not least, champion uh, number one, Theodora. Um, like, flower powers back, bitches. So, well, yeah. yeah. I do Thanks. love me a flower, too. Mm-hmm. Well... With that, we'll send you all off to finish. You got an, a week of training before you shall face the Champions Cup match at the Rogueland Rumbles. Thanks, y'all. Thank See you, y'all there. We'll see you later.